Doheny, I'm a Delta Waterfowl member from New Prague, Minnesota. Today I'm going to make one of my favorite recipes, Snow Goose Wild Rice Stoop. It's a great meal, somewhere right between a soup and a stoop. Okay, for this recipe we need snow goose, a whole snow goose breast. This was a juvie, so I'm using the whole goose, the breast and leg and thigh meat. I have six slices of bacon and thin strips. I've got one cup of mushrooms, a half a cup of chopped carrot, and chopped onion. I have wild, one cup of wild rice. You can use a cup and a half or more if you'd like. Can of cream of potato soup, two cups of half and half, one and a half cups of chicken stock. If you have duck stock, that works out the best. I get two cloves of chopped garlic. I've got a baked potato from last night's supper. I got shredded Swiss cheese and freshly chopped parsley for garnish salt and pepper for taste, and a little bit of olive oil. What we ought to do now is go ahead and brown up our bacon. Looking to get it nice and crispy in the cast iron pot works the best. We can do our uh, duck breast and our mushrooms all in this same pot, and then we're only dirty in two. Okay, now that our bacon is nice and crispy here, I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the pan to a cooling rack and it's going to be able to drain. You don't like putting it right on the paper towel itself because it tends to stay soggy then this way it'll crisp up real nice for you. We're going to go ahead and drain some of this bacon grease out of here, trying not to burn myself. And we're going to reserve about two tablespoons. We can add some back if we need. And then we're going to use that to go ahead and fry up our snow goose in. I put mine in a strainer, try to get as much of the liquid out of it as I can. And uh, makes for uh, a little faster cooking. Go ahead and saute this up. You don't want to overcook it. You want to cook it till it's nice and tender. Get it cooked through. But you don't want it to get tough. And I'm going to go ahead and add back a little bit of this bacon grease. I'm a firm believer in pork fat. It's a great flavor. And we'll go ahead and brown this up. Okay, now you want to cook this down to about medium doneness. You don't want to you don't want to overcook it. You don't want it uh, you don't want it to bleed into your soup either. So that's looking good there. So once we get it to that point, we'll go ahead and transfer it to our cooling rack. Leave the liquid in the pan. And we'll leave our liquid in here and then we'll go ahead and add our mushrooms. We're gonna give these mushrooms a little saute in water so they get a little waterlogged that way they don't suck up the liquid in your soup. While that's cooking, I'm going to make sure that this our mushrooms have sauteed for three or four minutes here. Get them cooked up a little bit. We'll go ahead and transfer them to a strainer here. Kind of drain off some of the excess liquid. We get all the flavors from the bacon and the goose from the pan. And then we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, next we're going to take a larger stock pot and we're going to add our cup and a half of stock. We're going to add our chopped carrot and our chopped onion and our chopped garlic. And we're going to let this cook for a while. This could take 5-10 minutes until everything is nice and tender in here. 
and the onions are transparent. We'll go ahead and cover that. Okay, our carrot onion garlic mixture has been simmering for about eight minutes. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our half and half. And our cream of potato soup. Give that a good stir. All blended together. After that's all mixed, then we're going to add back in our mushrooms. And our bacon and our goose. And a good stir. Get that goose all nice and coated. And we're going to add our cup of wild rice. That's about a cup. I like a little extra. Hence the name Stoop. We're going to go ahead and bring that up to heat. Just a slight boil and then we'll back it down to a simmer. And we'll simmer this for about 30 to 40 minutes. And then we'll remove it from the heat. Go ahead and cover that. After this has been simmering for about 15 minutes is when you want to add your leftover baked potato. I don't add it in right away because it likes to fall apart too easy. These are good soft red potatoes. Stir those in. They give a great texture and color to this dish. Okay, after our stoop is cooked down for about 30-40 minutes we're going to go ahead we're going to add some fresh cracked pepper to this, however much you care for. Give it a good stir. Add it to our bowl. And you can see what I mean by a stoop. It's nice and thick. If you didn't want it that thick, you could add, you could add more, more half and half to it. And to this here, we're going to add a nice bunch of Swiss, shredded Swiss cheese and some fresh parsley to garnish on that. I hope you all enjoy it as much as my family does. Happy hunting!